Yes. So I guess we're, yeah, we're making this video because every time I come onto a problem or every time I come onto an issue, I may as well make a video, had I not, you know? This is my issue today. My issue is trying to hook up the radiator. Um, as the engine has been changed, well, that means I have different water routes that have to perform. So on this side, on the bottom, what I have done is I don't have the hose and it takes time to go to town to look for a hose. Uh, it costs money to, to buy the hose and uh, I'd rather use what I have if I, ha if I don't have to run to town, if you know what I'm trying to say. And that really makes it hot rodding for me because I have to use my brain to get it done. I used some copper there and soldered together in 245s and then had a piece of hose that would connect them both together. I have not put on the clamps yet, but I'm trying to mock everything up first before I get going. As you can see, I got my pulley on. My pulley's all, all nailed down and ready to rock and roll nice and straight. I'm happy with that. So I don't know if you watched the last video or not, but we, have, we sectioned the pulley because we did not have one. And what I mean by section, we took a piece out of it. But right now I'm trying to make the top hose fit the radiator that I have. This, this, this radiator sent in the wood since probably 1940 something probably. I uh, had a bunch of sticks jammed in it. And someone shot it looks like. The bottom was broken open. I took my time and soldered it all up. I even cut out fins and, and cut off arteries and soldered them up and to keep the blood pumping in this old radiator. I did because I want that radiator on there to run that engine. Um, I did it because I could and it wasn't that hard, you know, just a little bit of flux and some solder, fill the hole and do the best you can do. Have a hole, do it again. Anyway, as I fly, I've got a small spout here and I've got a big spout here. I have not got a radiator hose that fitted. When I was at Andrews, a friend of mine, uh, made a video there the other day. I got some radiator hoses from him. We'll do a little bit of trading. I got a couple little things from him that I'm sort of happy with, you know. As I'm doing this car, I'm talking about building a 50s hot rod. If I took and put an, a newer wire harness in it, then when I have a, a newer car, we're not, you would, it's not 50s anymore. So anyways, I picked up this fuse panel, and I'm very happy with that, you know, because I'm gonna put that in this car. It's, it, it suits the era. Um, I'm just starting to realize you could buy a car and have so much fun picking things for it as you build the hot rod that you want it to build. You know, you could have so much fun going places, finding things, that sort of stuff. But anyways, as I get going, I've got a hose there that, that sort of works. It works on one end, works on one end, but it does not work on this end because it's too small. It will not fit up on there. I try to get up on there, will not do it. So anyways, as, I, as I'm thinking, um, I, want, I don't want to run to town to get a hose because I've got four right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build an adapter for this hose to fit that radiator. And it's not a big thing, it's not a big thing, but think about going to town and taking your time and spending over there at the hoses and looking at them all and say, is this the one, is that the one? Do I buy four of them? Do I buy five of them? I'm just gonna make it, make an adapter for it and make it work. So what I got is a piece of pipe, shoves in that. And then I got another piece of pipe there. It's the same size as that on the radiator, which I have to adapt up to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I've already cut a little piece off. I'm gonna take and put that in there like that. I'm gonna weld that around there. I'm gonna weld that around that piece of pipe. I'm gonna cut this off. Piece of rubber hose from here to the radiator and this piece of hose here will join, join this one. So I'm gonna make an adapter for my radiator hose. And if you're getting, if you're coming close to that sort of problem in your car and you're, you know, you radiator hose costs money, I don't care what you say. It all goes on the bill when the, when the job is done. So as I'm building this car and I have the stuff that I'm using, it makes me happy. So if you have a problem with your radiator hose or anything like that, you can do anything at all. You can do it out of copper, you can make it out of steel, you can use make adapters, you can use old hoses, new hoses, whatever you want to do. That's my issue today. God bless.
Cool. I love it. This is the piece of hose that I've cut for the radio. Ouch. That's live skin. Okay. There we go. There's that one. Now what happened is this is bigger than this. See how big that is compared to this? What I'm doing now is I'm gonna slide this one up in here. This is my adapter that I made. I'm gonna slide this up in here. Get in there, girl. There we go, there's what I call an adapter, All right? Make her fit nice and we would put a clamp on that. Not sure if I want to put a clamp. I probably should put a couple clamps on that now. Sooner now than later. That's a new one here, I thought. Pair of pants on in the morning when you haven't worked for a week or two. <laughs> yeah, all the time. Gotta have two on there. Gotta have two on there. There we go. Just had to loosen her up a bit. Some reason, some way. Why? Well, I'd like to have them crossed. Don't know why. But that's what my brain's telling me. So there, there's my adapter. And this is my hose that would not fit on top of there. I've got this. I'm gonna probably cut some off of this to bring it down some, so I can get on. This, if you know what I'm saying. So I gotta take cut a little bit off my hose, cut a bit a little bit off this hose, get it down some more. And that's a very crucial thing when you start cutting hose because you can frig it up some fast. So it's better to cut a little bit than a little bit than a little bit. And the way I'm gonna cut this might it might jar you and it might not. But I like cutting the hose with a zip cut. I like cutting this with a zip cut. I just find it. Fine, it does a pretty good job, you know. It's stinky, but stinky don't bother me. You know, especially when I'm getting the job done. When I whack my hands on the floor and I'm bending a piece of metal, it doesn't feel good either. But I do it because that's what needs to be done. It's Sunday. I used to like going to Sunday school, making things. I remember Woodburn one time he helped us make shows how to make a rocket. A rocket. 
We used to do painting and playing around as fun fun as school was. You know, make stuff. Make something. Go make something. Make something. And then try that on again just to make sure, you know what I'm saying, baby? Mm -hmm. I do not want to screw this up, really. It's the only hose I got, if you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? Myself soon, as soon as I get it fitting right. And I'm wanting to crimp it all. I'm gonna take a little bit more off the bottom, and that's gonna be. My son would say. <laughs> I feel like that would work. Yeah. Here we go. One radiator hose for the old dirty tail. Who knew? Awesome. She's a bit smoky, but she's done. All right.